welcome back. This week, F is for Fox. We're gonna start out with a, um, a few book recommendations followed by our craft. So for book recommendations, Fox's Garden, and this is um, by Princess Cam Cam, and it is a picture book about a red fox. Fox and Fluff by Shetta Crumb, illustrated by John Bendel Brunello. It's a really cute story about a fox who befriends a little chick. Fox by Kate Banks is a really cute story about all the things that a mother fox would do to teach her young. And lastly, The Secret Life of Red Fox is probably my favorite by Lawrence Pringle, illustrated by Kate Garchinsky. And this one's really cool because it talks, it gives you a lot of um, fun facts about foxes, foxes that you might not know about. And it also talks about just a day in the life of a red fox. Um, those who maybe not even have seen one before because they're pretty, um, pretty sneaky and elusive, but this is a great, great story. And all of these books can be found upstairs in our children's book picture book section. All right, let's get started. This week for our Tiny Tots Take and Makes, we are gonna be learning all about the letter F. So this week, F is for fox. We are gonna learn about other words that begin with the letter F. So F is for fan. F is for fish. F is for fence. F is for fork, and F is for firefighter. Other words that begin with the letter F are fire, flower, frog, and fish, like we saw over here. To write the letter F, we have an uppercase letter F, and if you follow the arrows, they are labeled in the order that you write them. So first, we're gonna draw a line right there, and the second and third steps for our capital letter F or to draw those two lines. And there you have it, a capital F. And the line extends all the way out here for you to continue practicing. So first you draw the line vertically and then two horizontal. For a lowercase f, you draw this line first and the horizontal line second. And you can continue to practice all the way over here. And there you have it for this week. F is for fox. For this week's craft, F is for fox, we will be making a little stick figure fox. In this kit, you should have received a puzzle to put together, and this is also two-sided, so you can put it together the opposite way, and it helps us learn the letters for fox. F-O-X. You should have also received a crayon, glue dots, a feather, a brown pom-pom, the fox foam face, a Q-tip, two googly eyes, paint, a popsicle stick, and the directions. Step one, hold the orange foam star with one of the tips facing downward in your fingertips. So I'm gonna hold one of the tips facing down in my fingertips. The point facing down is the fox's nose. Using a glue dot, glue the popsicle stick onto that point. So we're gonna take a glue dot. We're gonna take the popsicle stick. We're gonna glue it onto this point. Step three, flip, o flip your fox over using the opposite side you just glued on. Step four, using a glue dot, glue the pom-pom onto the tip of the point facing downward. 
which is the fox's nose. So we're gonna stick it right here with a glue dot. Like that. Step five, using glue dots, glue the googly eyes onto the fox's face in the center of the star. So we're gonna peel off two glue dots them in the center of the star for the fox's eyes. Step six, using your Q-tip, use white paint to paint white triangles inside of the fox's ears, the points at the top. So these are the fox's ears. So I'm going to take the bag that everything came in and I'm going to put it underneath so you protect the, protect the surface that you were painting on. I'm going to take our paint and our Q-tip. And I'm going to paint white triangles to resemble ears. Step seven, using your q-tip and white paint again, paint around the pom-pom at the bottom, highlighting the fox's nose. So I'm going to paint a little line here. Like this, to highlight the fox's nose. Lastly, we are going to paint the tip of the feather white, making sure to put something under it while you paint so you don't get paint everywhere. So I'm gonna take, so this is the point that we're actually going to glue onto there, but first we're gonna paint the tip of it white because red foxes have a white tip on the end of their tail. So we're gonna paint it white like this and allow it to dry before gluing it on. Just like that. So we are gonna set that there and we're gonna walk away for a little, allowing it to dry. Once your feather has dried as well as your paint, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do step nine, allowing everything to dry. And lastly, using a glue dot, glue the feather onto the popsicle stick, creating the fox's tail. So we're gonna glue, put one more glue dot halfway down on the popsicle stick. We're gonna take the feather that you just painted and we're gonna stick it on. We're gonna flip it over. Did it backwards. There we go, so the white tip is sticking out. And there you have it, your red fox popsicle stick.